People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today, I'm just an aluminum can, but one day, I could be a stadium. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to high school basketball action. Tonight, the Warriors of Southfield A&T taking on the Patriots of Livonia Franklin. Tonight's game on Cable 15 Sports coming to you from the arena at Southfield A&T High School in Southfield, Michigan. Opening tip tipped out of bounds by the Warriors. It's Patriots basketball here early in the first quarter. Southfield A&T in a 2-3 zone. First take off the mark, boarded by A&T. Dribble drive all the way, finger roll, no. Offensive glass for the Warriors. There's number two, correction, number five, Xavier James. He's tied up in the key and draws contact. First team foul goes against Lavonia Franklin. Early season action here in 2021. Great to see fans back in the stands. All the sounds you'd expect from a high school basketball game. Southfield A&T working the perimeter. Long triple on the way is off the mark. Bonnie Franklin also starts off in a zone. Giving up the long range jumper. And we remain scoreless here early in the first. Lavonia Franklin from the KLAA, Kensington Lakes Activities Association, visiting the OAA Warriors. And Lavonia Franklin first on the board. Triple from the corner rolls in. Both teams with takes from the outside early here. A&T trying to penetrate. Guard number 15, Davier Burt draws contact and another foul. That's two team fouls now against Franklin. Southfield A&T in a Rebuilding year, if you can call it that in high school. Very young squad. They graduated a bunch of seniors from the 2021 season. And this team is heavy with sophomores and juniors. Davier Burt from the corner. His triple won't go. And Franklin out on the break, pushing it up. Off the glass and in. Franklin with pressure. Xavier Burt hands off to Xavier James. Back to Burt in the corner. Person pass down low. Shots up. Shots good. Quante Pryor took the nice feed down low. Worked it up. Strong off the glass, draws contact. He's at the line shooting one. Rebound almost tipped away by Ethan Taylor, but Franklin comes down with it. Kick out and a look from the corner for the Patriots. This one won't go. Long rebound comes out to their point guard on top. Another look from beyond the arc. That's an air ball. And A&T with the glass. Xavier Birch slowing it down, setting up the half-court offense for the Warriors. Antonio King with it now, right side, brings it back to the middle. Shake and bake, but couldn't get anywhere with it. He'll pop from deep. 
And that one's off the mark. Southfield A&T starting the game on a cold streak. That was an open look by King, but way beyond the arc. Dante Davidson, point guard for Franklin, dribbles up. A&T staying in the zone, giving up the outside looks. And another triple from the corner for the Patriots. Number three, Mitch Cronin gets it to go. So with a and willing to give up the shot. And right now, Franklin's making him pay the price. Another foul by Livonia Franklin. That's their fourth team foul now. Playing aggressively, A&T drawing the calls. Flip pass in the middle and up and in for Xavier James. NT with a definite size advantage in the middle. Let's see if they can use that to their advantage for the rest of the game. Nearly stolen by the Warriors. Franklin recovers. Another triple on the way. Won't go. Tipped. Offensive glass by Franklin. Turn around in the key off the rim. And here come the Warriors. Antonio King slows it down. Jalen Carpenter with it right side. Ethan Taylor comes out to set a pick. And the Warriors reset again. More contact and another foul called against Livonia Franklin. And Coach T.J. Hurley on the sideline, urging his players to move their feet and not reach. Nice bounce pass down low, up and in for Quante Pryor. Beautiful inbound pass set him up for success. Turn around hook, won't go. Big man for Franklin, number 35, is Kevin Davis. Good looking hook shot, just wasn't anywhere near the rim. Another pass down low, jump, short jumpers, good. Antonio King with the touch. A&T having success, finding teammates in the key. Got nice looks at short jumpers. Another personal foul called. This an offensive foul on number two, Dante Davidson. You can see how upset he was by that call. A little push off as he tried to get around his warrior defender. And in five minutes, Livonia Franklin now with 16 fouls. And coach TJ Hurley for the war. Patriots asking the referee to call them both ways. Another turnaround jumper, nothing but net for Xavier James. Southfield A&T started off cold, but they are heating up here in the first quarter. They're out to a two-point lead. We'll be right back after this break. Morning, Gary. We are Get Schooled. Dot you want a college education, don't you? Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. Like picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Welcome back to your Cable 15 sports coverage of high school basketball. I'm getting a look at the sparkling floor here at Southfield A&T Arena. This time a reach-in foul is called against Southfield A&T. That's their first team foul. And Franklin got out to an early lead with a couple of threes from the corner. And now just like that, two quick fouls on the Warriors. That one goes against Quante Pryor. Checking in for A&T. Number two, Bryce Hewins. 
replacing Pryor. Dante Davidson hand in for Franklin. MT still in that matchup zone. Another wide open look from downtown won't go. And boarded by Jalen Carpenter. He finds his teammate up ahead for the flush. Xavier James on the break. Leaving no doubt on a great outlet pass by Jalen Carpenter made it possible. And now the Warriors with momentum here in the first. Another triple for Franklin. That time number 21, Eric Hobson Jr. Three three-pointers for Lavonia Franklin is keeping them in it here in the first quarter. It's a one-point advantage for the Warriors. Beautiful flush by Xavier James and Franklin with the three-point answer. EMT working their half-court offense. Franklin's defense keeping them out. Nice little cutback by number one, Antonio King. He's going to keep running the baseline and he jumped back on the left side. Beautiful move for King. Dante Davidson with the runner gets it to go. Jalen Carpenter slows it down, walking it up for AT. We're under a minute to go here in the first. And Carpenter satisfied to just let. Seconds roll off the clock. Franklin happy to let them do it. They just stay back in their 2-3 zone. No pressure to get the ball moving. King hands it back to Carpenter. King right side. Like an inside force pass stolen by Franklin. Tipped away. MT now back with it. Scramble for the ball. Somebody's couldn't call for a foul. Number 13, Ethan Taylor working hard for AT on Dante Davidson for Franklin. And in the scramble, Taylor picks up the foul. Three team fouls now on Southfield AT. Franklin basketball, 12 seconds to go. Basket would give them the lead back here. Last shot of the first quarter coming up. Off the foot. And time runs out. No shot taken. Southfield AT with a one point lead after one. We'll be right back after this break. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Visit us at stoptextstoprex.org. Second quarter set to start here at Southfield A&T, the home of the Warriors. A&T able to hang on to a one-point lead after one quarter. Great up and down action. Livonia Franklin keeping themselves in it with a three-point shot. A&T doing a great job scoring in the paint. Has tipped away there. Referee said he stepped on the line. And he launched a few three pointers that were unsuccessful. Then they started working it into their bigs down low where they've got a nice size advantage. They're giving themselves a good look at short turnarounds. Another long three pointer. This one off the mark. Franklin with the board. Get a hustle by Ethan Taylor. He knocks it out of bounds. Early season action. Don't know if these two schools have ever played each other. Pass stolen by A&T. Jalen Carpenter with the takeaway. Long look at three, rainbow three, nothing but the bottom. Beautiful high arcer by Xavier James. It's gonna make
make things more difficult for Franklin if they've got to guard the perimeter. Pass goes inside to Kevin Davis. Big collision. Results in a Warrior team foul. Ante up by four now. 20 gone here in the second quarter. Ant starting to play a little further out. Another triple on the way. This one rattles out. Offensive glass for Lavonia Franklin. They're going to get another shot at it. Penetration by Davidson. And threw it where his teammate was, but not where he had moved to. So that turnover is going to give it back to A&T. We've got 6.16 to go here in the second. A couple of substitutions. Head coach for Southfield A&T, Daryl Buchanan. Kind of like the energy, good penetration, and unselfish play. A lot of Good passes, good assists for the Warriors so far here in the first half. The launch from the three-point line is good. Jalen Carpenter sinks it for three. And A&T out to a seven-point lead. Two three-pointers extending that lead quickly here in the second quarter. And now all of a sudden, Livonia Franklin goes cold from outside. They missed their last four in a row. And it was stolen but recovered by a &T. Little drive mid-range jumper, good. Southfield a &T with the smooth shot selection. That time by Bryce Hewins. Team scoring from all over. Down low, mid-range, three-pointers. Again, making it tougher on Franklin. They've got to cover the entire floor. High arcing jumper won't go, but the offensive tip-in is good. And a long drought for Franklin, broken there. Two-point bucket gets it back to a seven-point advantage for the Warriors. Franklin head coach T.J. Hurley has been up on that sideline a lot. Another mid-range jumper, swish. a &T shooting the lights out. This one back, scramble for it, and refs is out of bounds. a &T basketball. Franklin. Playing with urgency, a little disorganized on that last drive, and A&T comes up with the ball out of bounds. Now with it, number four, K.L. Sims for the Warriors, and the referee says he carried it. Turnover for A&T. Going to give it to Franklin with a nine-point lead for the Warriors. Midway through the second quarter, Substituting pretty heavily, keeping fresh legs in the game. Dante Davidson on top. Penetration kick out. Decided against it. AMT doing a good job keeping the pressure on. Franklin unable to get the open look they're trying for. Good hustle play there by Bryce Hewins. Kicks it out of bounds. A&T has switched over to man-to-man -man defense. Tough shot up and in. Nice play by number 21, Eric Hobson, Jr. Bryce Hewins. 
Kept a hand in his face the whole time, but Hobson able to get it up and in off the glass. Strong shot for him. Alley-oop. Couldn't quite get it to go. Gets his own offensive glass, sets up his teammate. Another mid-range jumper goes. Great hustle by Quante Pryor to get his own rebound after the alley-oop didn't work. And another assist for the Warriors. Personal foul called on number 11, Quante Pryor. He's got a couple. It's going to be five team fouls on the Warriors. Dante Davidson drawing the contact. He's at the line. Cuts that AMT lead down to eight. Pryor's going to take a seat for AT now with his second foul. Xavier Burt back in for the Warriors. Both teams going at least eight deep into their bench. Maybe nine deep. K.L. Sims will handle for the Warriors. Give his teammates a chance to set up half-court play. Hewins denied. He finds Xavier James, kick out to Burt. And Warriors going to reset. Good look, good stuff by number five, Xavier James. Going up high for the flush. Leaving no doubt about it. Referee calling an offensive foul against the Warriors. No bucket for a &T. Great effort by Xavier James. Davidson penetrates, kicks it out. Double team there, nearly stolen. Franklin recovers. Hobson Jr. back out to Davidson. Double teamed. Well, his teammate number zero, Robbie Wynn, was going to cut to the basket. Wynn stayed home, and that's another turnover for Franklin. Antonio King on top. Crossover, kicked away, scramble. King comes up with it. Now Franklin with it. Davidson driving the right side. He's swiped by number four, K.L. Sims. by Franklin, it's A&T basketball. Bench giving high fives to Xavier James for his effort. Xavier Burt, double teamed. Now in the game, Antonio DePriest for A&T. K.L. Sims handling. Franklin tightening up there, D. DePriest drives, left side won't go. Good position on the defensive glass for Franklin and Davidson again trying to push the issue. Unfortunately, out of the reach of his teammate. Franklin point guard has been trying to generate some offense. Finding his teammates several times successfully, but a few times now he has thrown it away. And a &T now looking to take advantage of the turnover. Antonio Stokes in for a &T. Warriors with a sizable size advantage. K.L. Sims drives baseline, steps out of bounds.
Ethan Taylor returning for the Warriors, giving Antonio King a break. Also back in number three, Jalen Carpenter, head coach Gerald Buchanan. Keeping the subs on their toes over there. Out of substitutions and Franklin has gone cold here in the second quarter. A couple of big droughts between points for them. Tipped away. Looks like Robbie Wynn was able to draw contact. The referee is calling a kickball against a &T. Either way, it's Franklin basketball. 32 seconds to go here in the second quarter. a &T building a sizable lead. Franklin trying to get the last basket and get back into it here in the second. Triple on the way is good. Robbie win for Lavonia Franklin gets it to drop. Gets the Patriots back within six. Xavier Burt driving. Another personal foul called on Lavonia Franklin. Hobson Jr. telling Robbie Wynn, we got 10 seconds left on foul. That's a seventh team foul. That means Davier Burt's at the line shooting one and one. Franklin had six fouls quick early in the first quarter. And cleaned up their defense, didn't get another call until here with 10 seconds to go in the second. Burt makes the first, makes the second. Franklin with time for one last drive. Davidson pushing it up. He's checked by Antonio DePriest. Gets to the key, kicks out. Triple on the way at the buzzer. Won't go. Boarded by AT and the Warriors going to halftime with an eight-point lead. We'll be right back for the second half. Because of you, I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke but it still hurt me. Because of you, I felt wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was gonna be okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of action here at Southfield A&T. Warriors welcoming the Patriots of Livonia Franklin. Franklin got off to a quick start in the first quarter to start the game. A couple of quick three-pointers got him going. A&T got their offense in gear. Davier Burt. Bouncing through the key, gets it to the right side, gets it up and in. And a and extends it to a 10-point lead. Warriors making a great range of shots, starting about midway through the first quarter. Inside, outside. A couple of dunks. A little bit of everything for the Warriors. Xavier James with it on top. Xavier Burt, point guard for the Warriors, tries that right side again. This time he's blocked. Franklin pushing it, Davidson keeps it, and he's rejected by number one, Antonio King. And Franklin's gonna pick up the frustration foul after King blocked the drive. Southfield a and looking confident when they get the ball in the key. They know they've got a few inches on most of those Franklin defenders. And they are looking really comfortable with those mid-range jumpers. That one goes long and fighting for the rebound. Ethan Taylor goes over the back. First team foul for the Warriors here in the second half. A 
NT stays man to man. Driving kick out goes right to it. Xavier James. A little steal and turnover for the Warriors. Drive down the key. Referee says Antonio King was fouled before he got the shot off. Out around the free throw line. AT basketball. They've got a 10 point lead now here in the third quarter. Franklin packing it in with that 2 3 zone. I think they'd rather have the Warriors shooting from outside the arc than inside. Like that stuff by number one, Antonio King. Beautiful baseline drive and the flush. And Lavonia Franklin wants to slow it down and talk it over. a and will take some breath. We'll be right back after this break. Natural disasters are a fact of life in the U.S. And between activities and school, chances are you won't be with your kids when they happen. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids can help your children feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Southfield a and able to turn it on. Get their fans on their feet. Beautiful drive and dunk by Antonio King. Franklin slows it down. Patriots have really gone cold from outside after starting off two for two. And that shows on the scoreboard where a and is up by a dozen now. Reaching foul called on the Warriors. Davidson left alone. High three off the glass, no. Long outlet pass. Nice body control by Quante Pryor. Went up, caught the pass, and able to twist around and get that little finger roll up and in. Drive there by Eric Hobson Jr. Couldn't quite finish it. Davidson intercepts the inbounds pass. Triple try on the way. No. Ronya Franklin cannot buy a bucket from the three point line. AT steps out of bounds again. It's the third time they've done that this game. Mitch Cronin, the last player to. Heave up a three for Franklin, and they just can't get it to go. Another look from the corner. This one's good. Cronin. Obvious believer in the credo that a shooter shoots. Missed his first one. Second time, nothing but the bottom. Triple on the way for A&T with the answer. Number three, Jalen Carpenter. Putting his hand in the bucket. Step back jumper, no. Good offensive glass position by Kevin Davis for the Patriots. And A&T rang up for the foul. Xavier Burt called. Pass off the floor and nice up and in by Franklin. Back to back buckets has them cutting into the lead down to 12 now. Cross court for Burt, thought about three, instead dribbles, twists. And the referee's going to ring him up for a travel. Bryce Hewins checking in, giving Davier Bird a break. Your Bird, just a sophomore, outstanding football player. Mitch Cronin gave it another try. That, that one no good. 
acquisition on the defensive board by Ethan Taylor, and he's fouled in the act. Jane Carpenter slowly walking it up for the Warriors. He's double teamed. Franklin now looking a little more urgent. Jumper from the elbow, no. Offensive board turnaround, no. Good looks by A&T. Cronin again. Out of bounds off the bracket. Cronin's three looked like it had a chance, but clings hard off the rim. It's a &T basketball, Bryce Hewins walking it up, gets it to Antonio King, he'll drive baseline, dish off inside, scramble for it, Franklin comes away with it, breakaway, and the lay-in for number 21, Eric Hobson Jr. Looked like he was setting it up for a dunk and then instead went just for the lay-in, beautiful alley-oop pass and Finished by Xavier James. Southfield A&T right back at you. Jamie Carpenter with the beautiful alley-oop pass. Cronin tipped away. Cronin recovers. Franklin from the corner. Again, having trouble getting those three-pointers to go. Jalen Carpenter, no. Good glass by Ethan Taylor. He's going to give his team another chance. Three-pointer on the way. No. And Cronin boards it for Franklin. AMT bench was ready to explode, but they had to sit back down. Cronin again, off again. Nice shot from the free throw line by Eric Hobson Jr. Breaks another drought. Franklin team of streaks tonight. They'll hit one or two or three in a row and then go cold. During those cold patches, a and is making them pay. Dribble drive, no, gets his own board, no. And Franklin comes away with it. Good push down low, up and in and good. And after that, make off the board by Mitch Cronin. We've got a timeout in the action. Referee indicating a 30 second timeout. Got some substitutions now for both teams. I think head coach Gerald Buchanan just needed a whistle so he could make some subs. Franklin head coach TJ Hurley urging on his squad. Need to have a sense of urgency. They're down 10 now with a minute 13 to go here in the third quarter. Taking their time, burning some clock. Back in for the Warriors, number 35, Antonio Stokes. Stokes drives it, changes mind, kicked it out. Carpenter, turnaround, fadeaway, good! Good range jumpers looking good for A&T tonight. Really showing the whole arsenal. Of defense and AT comes away with another steal. Tag team by Carpenter and King. Carpenter with it way out on top. He'll take his time. We're under 30 seconds to go. Now under 20 seconds. Warriors clearly setting it up to get the last shot off. Up by 10. 
Dante Pryor driving, initiates the contact, gets the foul call. Referees say not in the act of shooting, so Warriors have two seconds to go. Alley-oop, pushed by Franklin is called. Great cut by Antonio King. Carpenter saw him coming and teed it up for him, but Franklin with really pretty good defense on that inbounds pass. Denied the layup. King at the line shooting two. First one bounces out. Great pace to this third quarter and a &T extending their lead. Second free throw, no good. Lane violation, however, called. I think against the shooter for a &T. So less than two seconds to go. Franklin. Heave at the buzzer comes up short. And AT with a 10 point lead heading into the fourth quarter. We'll be right back with that action after this break. There are a lot of ways to reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at seizetheawkward.org. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's fourth quarter time. Cable 15 sports coverage of high school basketball. Southfield A&T Warriors welcoming the Patriots of Livonia Franklin. And Southfield A&T had a great third quarter, extended their lead. Franklin comes out pushing it in a hurry. Way up off the glass, and that's gonna be a goaltending call on Anthony King hustling back. Uh, Mitch Cronin is going to get two points. And Franklin cuts it to an eight-point margin here early in the fourth quarter. Step back three. Nothing but net for Jalen Carpenter. Doing his best, Steph Curry. A&T back up by double digits on the Carpenter three. Quick look by Franklin. Three-pointers, good. Number one, Andre DeWalt Jr. With the answer. Back down to an eight-point lead for a &T. Jalen Carpenter, same spot, same result. Two times, times two for Jalen Carpenter. Back-to-back -back triples and a &T back up by 11. Playing aggressive on D. Tip away. We've got a whistle. Antonio King had visions of glory on that breakaway, but a whistle stops the action. In that scramble, reaching foul called on Lavonia Franklin. That's six personal fouls on Franklin. From here on out, AMT will be in the bonus. Warriors taking their time. Penetration. Euro step. Can't get the finger roll to go. Andre DeWell Jr. pushing up for Franklin. Reaching foul called on the Warriors. Franklin basketball, a and T on top by 11. Eric Hobson Jr. sends it in for the Patriots. Until Davidson dribble drive gets it off to Hobson who gets it off the glass and in. It's 
pump fake. Double clutch by Hobson. Back to single digits, tipped away and stolen by Lavonia Franklin. Davidson pushing it into the corners. Triple try is short. Eric Hobson Jr. came up with the offensive glass. Can't get the mid-range shot to go, and Kevin Davis gonna pick up a foul. Jalen Carpenter came down with that defensive board. And that is team foul number seven. a and t in the bonus. Jalen Carpenter at the line shooting one and one. Players showing a little fatigue as they work their way down the court. Xavier Bird in for a t along with Xavier James, Jalen Carpenter at the line. First free throw is good by Carpenter. Called for a lane violation. He disagreed with the call. Either way, Franklin basketball. We'll take Pryor on the point for the press and stolen away by Davier Burt. Good anticipation. Intercepts the pass and ANT back on offense. Burt, crossover, dribble drive, off the glass, no. Franklin pushing it, open look in the corner, off the rim and no, Quante Pryor there to eat it up for Southfield A&T. Pushes it to J Xavier James on the left side. He sends it out to Antonio King and Warriors reset. Jalen Carpenter, again! Three times for Jalen Carpenter. He scored 10 straight points for the Warriors. Jalen Carpenter on a roll. a t hustling back on defense. Quante Pryor kicks it out of bounds. Pass tipped away. Steal and a breakaway looming, but foul called against a &T on the reach. Southfield a &T now up by 13. Tipped and stolen, Jalen Carpenter. Breakaway, score it! 12 in a row for number three, Jalen Carpenter. Playing it on both ends now. Tipped away and stolen by Davier Burt. Spin move. Off the glass, no. The referee looks like we're getting a traveling violation against Davier Burt. Great effort by the sophomore, but it's a turnover. We got a timeout in the action. We'll be right back. Did you put a new dent in that? This one? No. Were you texting and driving again? Yes. Hi, Leah. Hi, Dad. Sorry about your bumper. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Southfield a and Warriors on a roll here in the fourth quarter, led by number three, Jalen Carpenter. Only Franklin looking for an answer. A&T with pressure half court. Nice drop down low and a bucket. And Franklin on the left side. Number 13, Jake McGlynn. 
beneficiary of a beautiful feed. Franklin nearly tips it away. Instead, Quante Pryor with a couple of looks down low. Can't get him to drop. Franklin on the move. Cronin thought about it. Hands it off to Hobson. He drives, blocked, but he's fouled. Eric Hobson Jr. going to the line for Livonia Franklin. Which Cronin looked like he had the itchy trigger finger. Thought about the three-pointer and then sent it over to Hobson. Antonio Stokes back in for a &T. Hobson at the line for Franklin. Lead now is 13. We've got 3.33 to go here in the fourth quarter. Hobson short on the second, boarded by Quante Pryor. David Burt puts it across midcourt, double teamed. Referee says he stepped on the line. Aggressive double team by Franklin. David Burt thought he got bumped. Not surprisingly, referee not changing his call. Out of bounds goes to Franklin. Triple drive on the way won't go. Nice drive by DeWalt. Couldn't get it to drop. Jalen Carpenter runs into a double team. Stolen by Hobson Jr. Up on the left side. Good. Great all-around play by Eric Hobson Jr. With the steal. Then the drive. Franklin making a little comeback here. We'll be right back. Whether it be sports, music, or art, we're all good at different things. But when it comes to texting and driving, no one's good at that. All right, back to action here at Southfield A&T High School. Southfield A&T in the OAA, Oakland Activities Association. Livonia Franklin playing in the KLAA, Kensington Lakes Activities Association. a &T with a good look, pushing it up. Driving to the basket was number two, Bryce Humans. He's fouled. Stops the clock just under three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. a &T up by 11. Franklin hanging around. First free throw, nothing but net for Bryce Hewins. Substitution for Franklin. Andre DeWalt Jr. back in. Another three from the corner earlier. Hewins short on the second, tipped around. a &T comes up with it. The whistle stops the action. And personal foul called against Livonia Franklin. a &T in the bonus, shooting one and one Quante Pryor. Is good on the first. 15 point lead for A and T. 2.51 to go here in the fourth quarter. Jalen Carpenter. Looks like he twisted an ankle. He's walking gingerly over on the sideline. Cross court pass. Another cross court pass. Hobson Jr. hands it to DeWalt. His three pointer comes up just short. Franklin on the offensive glass. Robbie Wynn sends it to Cronin. Hobson Jr. can't get it to go. Tipped out of bounds by Franklin. A couple of good looks by Livonia Franklin. 
Nothing to show for it. A&T still up by 13. Returning for A&T number four, K.L. Sims replacing Davier Burt. Also in Antonio King, Bryce Hewins, Quante Pryor, and Ethan Taylor. Antonio King goes down on one knee. Kept the dribble going. Sims rocking back and forth. Sims gets it down low in among the trees, tries to dish it. Mid-range jumper, no. And Franklin comes away with it, pushing it the other way. Outside look for Cronin, that's off the mark, no. Cronin another time, no. Tipped out of bounds. Referee says it went off a and Ethan Taylor. Mitch Cronin will inbound for Lavonia Franklin. He finds Andre DeWalt back to Coron and back to DeWalt. Hobson Jr. on the drive. Cronin looking for three. Can't get it to go again. Franklin Bench was anticipating that three, but it rattles out. And except for one triple, Cronin has gone cold here in the second half. Oh, look down low, just over the outstretched hands of Bryce Hewins. Good idea, but turnover for A&T. Back in for the Warriors, number 23, Antonio De Priest takes point on the press. Hewins also in for a &T, number 21, Sir Gregory Davis III. A&T with a trapping pressure tipped. Back in the hands of Franklin. Cronin thought about it. Nice look down low. Beautiful pass by Andre DeWalt Jr. Franklin chipping away. A&T up by 11. Another personal foul on Franklin. That's their 10th A&T in double bonus. They'll be shooting two the rest of the way. Warriors up by 11. We've got 47 seconds to go. At the line shooting two, KL Sims could just about put it on ice if he knocks these down. First one comes up short. Dante Davidson back in for Lavonia Franklin. Second free throw also off the front of the iron. Lead remains at 11, 47 seconds to go. A&T putting on three-quarter court pressure. The priest on the ball, that's Dante Davidson for Franklin. Look in the corner for Andre DeWall Jr. He's good again from three land. Lavonia Franklin showing signs of life. We'll be right back. Andre DeWall Jr. Catching fire for the Patriots of Livonia Franklin. Nearly stolen. We've got a tie up. Jump ball. It's possession. Livonia Franklin. And down to an eight point lead after the DeWalt three pointer. 32 seconds to go. Livonia 
Franklin. DeWalt gets another look at it. It's good from the corner. Andre DeWalt Jr. Three times and Lavonia Franklin coming back. We'll be right back. Andre DeWall Jr. striking fire from three-point land for Lavonia Franklin. a t pushing it up in a hurry. Franklin with a quick foul. Southfield a and T's lead down to five points. At the line shooting two, Antonio King. All of a sudden, critical free throws for the Warriors. 21.6 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Five-point lead seems comfortable. Six-point lead would be better. First free throw off the mark. Livonia Franklin's strategy of fouling quick. Several things have to come together. One of those is for the opponent to miss free throws. Second one is good. Antonio King puts the Warriors up by six. Franklin looking for more quick points. Davidson pushes it up. Hobson Jr. looks underneath. Turnaround jumper. Good. Franklin with two more quick points. And a quick foul by Franklin. A&T back at the line. Shooting two. It's a four-point ball game with just under 10 seconds to go. Should be enough of a lead, but somehow right now it doesn't feel safe the way Franklin's putting up quick points. The throw is good, Quante Pryor. Iceman. Five-point lead for a &T. Second one is off. And reaching around his opponent, trying to get a hold of the ball. Antonio King had his arm on the back of number 21, Eric Hobson Jr. And Hobson Jr. is going to go to the line. He'll advise time for a personal foul by Antonio King. Stops the clock, 9.8 to go. Five-point lead for the Warriors. Make it a four-point lead. Still two possessions at this point. Crucial will come up with a rebound after this free throw for either team. Hobson Jr. off the rim, no. Here come the Warriors and tipped away, controlled by Jalen Carpenter. Lays it up off the glass, no. Franklin with a heave of the buzzer, it won't be enough, and a and is going to come away with a four-point victory. Fireworks all night long. Southfield a and doing it from deep, doing it from mid-range, and doing it down low with great rebounding and some spectacular dunks. Southfield a and comes away with the victory tonight. We're happy to have you watching Cable 15 Sports. I'm Matt Hervella. We'll see you back here next time.